Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be doing a paint with me. So I'm going to be painting on mini canvases. I think I'm going to probably try and start selling them online but I am practicing. This is going to be the second time trying to paint on canvases. Um, wish me luck and don't judge because it is only my second time trying on canvas so I'm a very much amateur at painting especially with acrylic paint um, or just paint in general I'm more of a drawer but I'm going to be doing a paint with me and I hope you guys enjoy this video it's going to be a really calm chill video for you guys to watch so this is what I will be painting today in my YouTube video. As you can see, I've already set up my stuff. So I have a newspaper on my bed because I like to do this in my room. I have my salon kit, which is just a blanket ready because... I don't know I like doing this in my blanket I like being really comfortable so I have the canvas in my hand and I am just opening it up before painting on the canvas you can see on the right that I have painted a picture on paper and that was a test run just to see what it would look like before I actually do the real thing my area is a bit messy so I am actually moving my brushes out of the way clearing the space and also just taking the acrylic paint and putting it further back so I have space for my canvas I also just remembered that I need to put sellotape on the back of the canvas okay so I have got my sellotape and I am just sellotaping the back of the canvas so that the paint doesn't go past the edge but this actually didn't work because I didn't have the proper builder's tape for the canvas and I just had to substitute. I thought the substitute would work, but it didn't. I finished applying the sellotape on all sides. Now I'm taking a pencil and drawing on the canvas. Specifically, I am drawing the silhouette of the elephant and the tree and also the baseline for where the grass is going to be so that I know where I'm going to apply my paint and not just freestyle. Now I am lining up the paints that I'm going to use to paint or colour the sunset in the picture. I'm taking a wide flat brush, this is my favourite brush, and I am dipping it into my bowl of water, like so. Now I'm applying the acrylic paint onto the canvas and putting it in order of the way I want the ombre to look. Then I take the flat brush and use it to blend out the colour. I'm adding water to my brush just to make it easier to blend out the ombre so you can see I'm squeezing out the water and just going over this just to blend the ombre out a bit more. Now I am adding a burnt sienna acrylic colour to add more depth into the ombre. I was scared to put this straight away so I'm actually adding it now. As you can see the ombre looks so good and yeah that is basically the base of my painting now for the clouds i am taking the darkest colors of my acrylic paints and putting them into my painting thing i don't know what it's called oh my god <laughs> but you know what i'm talking about 
so I have mixed a few colours together and I'm taking my sponge brush and testing it out on the paper next to me just to see if it's the colour I want and applying it onto, well trying to apply it onto the canvas because I am trying to add clouds to my background. Since that wasn't working, I actually ended up taking a paintbrush and trying to do the clouds using a paintbrush, which I was quite scared of doing because I feel like they end up being too heavy and clouds need to be a light thing in the distance, especially when it comes to acrylic paint because acrylic paint is better for defining. Acrylic is better for painting pictures with more details rather than softer images, if that makes sense. The paintbrush seemed to have been working better for me more than the sponge, which was really surprising to me. But at least I found a way to do it that I like. So now I was taking the burnt sienna colour and adding it to the bottom of the picture just to add some more depth in the ombre. Now I am getting ready to paint the silhouettes of the elephant and the tree. I am taking my black acrylic paint and making sure that there's not too much on the brush so that I can carefully, and keyword carefully, paint in the shape of the elephant that I drew on the canvas and I can still see it through the acrylic paint underneath which is why it's good to do a pencil outline for a guide. I have now completely finished painting the silhouette of the tree and the elephant. So I am now starting to do the silhouette of the grass. The grass is black because of the sunset. I'm using my paintbrush to do brush strokes that appear like the grass. Now I am taking my bigger brush and using that to paint the rest of the picture. Now I'm just adding the leaves or flowers on the tree. This is what the canvas looks like so far. I am so happy with it. 
I am taking a wet brush and using that to smooth the sides of the canvas. Hi everyone, so my camera actually um, shut off because I ran out of storage so I had to delete a few things and now I'm back. I did actually finish painting off camera because I didn't know my camera did shut down but I finished now and all I had left was a few bits so I will explain what I did and what I think was cut off the end of the video and yeah. So this is the final this is the final piece of art i might add a little bit of paint if i think that i need to like over here and over here but other than that it looks quite good i'm actually really impressed um here is the back i'm going to peel off the sellotape now that it's fully dry so you guys can see what it looks like i really hope that the paint hasn't run through but we'll see Okay, so here is the back. Some of it has, and I think this is where I added water. So next time I know not to add a bit of water because that seeped through the back. But other than that, I think it's fine. Because if someone were to put it on the wall, no one could see it anyway. So it's not a big deal, but I am more of a per perfectionist. So I would rather everything be clean. And maybe I could get some paint remover or maybe I could just paint it white to clean it up. But I'll see what I can do. Here is a finished piece of art. Hello guys, it is the next day um, of painting my painting. And I forgot to mention that I actually have to varnish the painting to make it set and make it last properly. I've actually just varnished it right now so you can kind of see the shine it has. Um, this is the varnish I used. It has a satin finish. Um, this is my first time obviously and I just used a flat brush like this to apply the varnish to my painting and I'm actually just waiting for it to dry. Also, um, I did paint another painting today. Here it is. Um, it's not completely finished because I did make a mistake here and I want to blend it out but um, I will finish it and then varnish it tomorrow and yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you're new to my channel please subscribe to my channel because I do so many different types of videos and you guys can get to know who I am as a person and I hope you can see more content like this like this video subscribe to my channel and have a good day bye Buckles on the jacket, it's elite shit Nike crossbody, got a piece in Gotta dance, but it's really on some street shit I'ma show you how to get it, it go right for her That pussy